Hello my dear friends, I am Sushant Agrawal here discussing first year subject basic electrical engineering. Its code is 103004. In our subject of basic electrical engineering, we have practical for 25 marks and INSEM exam for 30 marks, NSEM exam for 70 marks. Our subject credits are 4 and total marks are 125. It is your SPPU syllabus. So now I will come to the syllabus 103. You have prerequisite about this course that is knowledge of engineering, physics, electron theory, electricity, potential and kinetic energy. Your course objectives are to introduce fundamental concepts, various laws, principles, theorems associated with electrical systems, to impart basic knowledge of all electrical quantities such as current, voltage, power, energy, frequency along with different types of field. Your course objectives are to provide knowledge about fundamental parameters such as resistance, inductance and capacitance and magnetic circuits, AC and DC circuit. To provide knowledge of the concepts of transformer, different energy convergence techniques. Course outcome. You will able to differentiate between electric and magnetic circuits and derive mathematical relation for self and mutual inductance along with coupling effect. Calculate series, parallel and composite capacitor as well as characteristics parameter of alternating quantity and phasor arithmetic. You will able to derive expressions for impedance, current, power in series and parallel RLC circuit with AC supply along with phasor diagram. You will able to relate phase and line current or electrical quantities in polyphase networks. Demonstrate the operation of single phase transformer and calculate efficiency and regulation of different loading conditions. You will able to apply and analyze the resistive circuits using star delta conversion, KVL, KCL and different network theorem and under DC supply. You will able to evaluate work power energy relations and suggest various batteries for different applications, concepts of charging, discharging and depth of charge. So for this course outcome, we have the six unit, unit one based on electromagnetism. Unit 2nd based on electrostatics and AC fundamentals. Unit 3 based on single phase AC circuit. Unit 4 based on polyphase AC circuit and single phase transformer. Unit 5 based on DC circuit. Unit 6 is based on work power energy and batteries. And the reference book is here suggested. That is one of the test book. VK Mehta or Rohit Mehta basic electrical engineering by HL publication. You can use another books, these are also available in library and we have the practical manual. <coughs> I can provide it in the soft copy to you. You can complete the observation table, make the conclusion, solve some questions which I will provide to you in the form of MCQ as well as theory questions. And guidelines of this for student lab journal. Theory related to the experiment should be completed by student. Apparatus with their detailed specification should be mentioned in the experiments. Connection diagram, circuit diagram should be drawn by the student. Observation tables, simulation waveforms should be available or do the needful and do with your own. Sample calculations for one or two readings are compulsory. Result tables are compulsory, graphs and conclusion accordingly you will draw. The short questions are also provided to the students to complete the experiments. There are two groups and in each group we have to complete some list of experiments. Following eight practicals are compulsory and in the group B we have minimum two practicals to complete it. So these eight experiments are compulsory. To study safety precautions while working on electrical systems, handling of various equipment such as multimeter, 
emitters, voltmeter, wattmeter, real life resistors, inductors, and capacitors. To calculate and measure the charging or discharging of capacitor and observe the response on storage oscilloscope. To measure steady state response of series RL RC circuits on AC supply and observations of voltage and current waveforms on storage oscilloscope. To derive response frequency and analyze res resonance in series RLC circuit. To re verify the relation between phase and line quantities in three phase balanced star delta connections of load. <coughs> to determine efficiency and the regulations of transformer by direct loading test of single phase transformer. To verify KVL and superposition theorem, to verify Thevenin theorem in a DC circuit or DC network. There are two minimum practicals which are compulsory. You can uh, do any two practicals from this four. To measure initialization resistance of electrical equipment using MEGAR. To demonstrate different types of electrical protection equipment such as fuses, MCB, MCCB, LCB. To measure earth resistance at substations. Earthing using fall of potential method with IS3043 standard and to study LT and HT electricity bills. So these are the, we can say, course we have to complete. Let's discuss unit 1 through the VK Mehta as a textbook. It is by H. Chan publication. <coughs> we had already started the discussion based on electromagnetism. What is resistance, what is EMF, what is current potential, potential difference and Ohm's law. So this is your book I had shared with you. So here is the electromagnetism, magnetism and electromagnetism on page number 350, 385. Yes, magnetism and electromagnetism. So you know the laws of magnetic force, Coulomb's law of magnetic force that is F is directly proportional to M1, M2 and inversely proportional square of the distance between them. What is the unit of pole strength? It is Weber. The magnetic field, when there is a magnet, it has the surrounding magnetic field. Properties of magnetic lines of force and magnetic fields are here. Each magnetic lines of force forms a closed loop outside the magnet and the direction of magnetic lines of force is a form of north pole to south pole and it continues through the body of the magnet to form a closed loop. Magnetic lines of force contract longitudinally and widen laterally. Widen laterally. So magnetic lines of force are always ready to pass through magnetic materials like iron in preference to pass through non-magnetic materials like air also. So your magnetic flux measured in Weber that is 10 raised to 8 lines of force. One micro Weber means 10 raised to minus 6 Weber. So that is 100 lines. Magnetic flux density. B is there and its unit is vapor per meter square or tesla. H is the magnetic field strength or magnetic field intensity. It is mu r is a relative permeability. Permeability allows the magnetic lines of force in the material. So that is the ability of material to allow the flux. Mu r is equal to mu upon mu zero. Mu is a permeability. And mu zero is a permeability in free space or vacuum. Its value is 4.2 to 10 raised to minus 7 Henry per meter. It is given here. The relation between B and H B is directly proportional to H. B upon H is equal to constant. So B is equal to mu zero mu r H. So it is if it is mu r one, so B is equal to mu zero H. Magnetic susceptibility. Can we find it out with the help of this relation I upon H?
electromagnetism magnetic effect of electric currents are there when there is a current flowing through a conductor it has the magnetic field surrounding to it there is a right hand thumb rule also dot and cross rules are also mm is nothing but magnetic motive force it is a product of number of turns and current flowing through the coil and its unit is ampere turns ni is nothing but mmf it can be also find it out with the help of magnetizing force h into l is equal to ni is equal to mmf what is this magnetizing force produced by an electric current is defined as the mmf setup per unit length of the magnetic circuit so ni upon l is also magnetizing force F is equal to BIL sin theta, force exerted on this conductor when it is placed in magnetic field. It will be maximum when the theta is 90 degree. The remaining discussion we will cover in the upcoming videos based on this magnetic circuit compared with the electric circuit, statistically induced MF, dynamically induced MF, what are the similarities between electric circuit and magnetic circuit, just we will see here, it will be discussed in the next upcoming video, thanks for your patience listening, thank you. Have a great